Brothers, I know you probably can't see me because, well, it's dark outside. But something really awesome just happened and I just, I wanna share it with you guys. So it's Friday night, it's about 8.46 right now and I just finished up dinner. I actually took myself out on a little mink date tonight. So I like to call it when, you know, it's just me hanging out solo. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take myself out to a nice dinner. Call it a mink date. I encourage all my brothers out there to take yourself out on a date. Little self-love, little, you know, treat to yourself. Does the body, heart, mind, spirit, soul, does it all really, really good. So I take myself out on a mink date tonight. Sit down. I'm enjoying a nice dinner about halfway through the meal. Brothers, this guy walks in the restaurant and it's a small restaurant. You know, there's probably 25 people. It's in a small space. He walks in and he goes, excuse me, excuse me, everyone, please excuse me. Everyone in the restaurant like turns like they're, they're, they're turning like this. Who the is this guy, right? Who's this guy interrupting my meal? And he goes, let me start by saying that I have a high functioning form of autism. And you can tell by his speech impediment and just kind of the way he looks and his demeanor that he does have some form of autism. Or maybe he's a really good actor. I don't know, not my place to judge. I'm gonna take him, take him at his word. And then he proceeds to say that, long story short, he got on a Greyhound bus from California came out to Arizona, um, and now he needs to get back on a Greyhound bus to go to California to go home. And he doesn't have enough money for his ticket. He says, I'm $45 short. Is, is there any way any of you guys could spare a couple extra dollars? Now, brothers, I look around this restaurant. I'm looking around this restaurant. There's probably 25 people in it. Not a single person gets up. And not only that, they're looking at this dude like, you lying SOB. You're a scammer, freaking con artist. Like they're not saying it, but they're looking at this guy with judgmental eyes. And now brothers, I have a rule in my life. And my rule is this. If someone has the courage to ask and I have it to give, I'm gonna give something. Maybe it's a buck, maybe it's two bucks, maybe it's more, whatever it might be. If someone asks me, I'm gonna give it. So I reach in my pocket, pull out my wallet and I've got no cash in my wallet now this time the guy's actually headed out of the restaurant no one's even looked at him no one's even really acknowledged him he's out the restaurant so i get up from my chair i walk out and i go excuse me sir i was like if you can hold on one minute i have some cash in my car and i'll, I'll give you a couple extra bucks and he's like oh thank you so much so I come in pull the center console out and then i peel off 45 dollars. i got two 20s and a five just laying on top it's meant to be he says he's $45 short, I'm gonna give him 45 bucks. So I walk up to him, I'm like, sir, you said you're short $45, here's $45. I said, you know, please get home safely tonight and, uh, you know, have a safe trip. And he's like, wow, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And he's like, really appreciative. I go in, sit down, enjoy my meal, ask the waitress for the check. She brings me the bill, I open up the bill, I'm like, it's $3. Now I know brothers, what I ordered was at least 30, plus like drink and tip and tax and all that stuff. So I'm like, $3, it's supposed to be 30. Excuse me, um, I think there's something wrong with my bill. It's only $3. And the waitress like, well, no, my manager wanted to buy you dinner. And I was like, wow, that's really sweet of her. Which one's your manager? She's like, that one over there. I was like, all right. So I, you know, tip the lady nicely because my dinner was only three bucks. And I signed the bill and I go up to the manager. I'm like, excuse me, thank you so much. That was incredibly sweet of you for buying me dinner. You know, thank you. And she's like, it's my pleasure. She was like, I saw what you did, did for that man that came in. And I just felt like I should pay it forward. I wanted to buy you dinner because that was incredibly, that was a very sweet and kind gesture that you made. So I come out to my car, brothers and I turn on the video and I wanna share it with you guys because brothers, every time in my life that I've tried to give, it comes right back to me. And it doesn't come back to me in equal proportion, it comes back to me in an incredibly 
disproportionate amount in my favor. It's like every time we try to give, brothers, the more we give, the more we serve, the more we contribute to life and just lend a helping hand, the more life helps us. In fact, brothers, I believe the more that you support life, the more that you help others, the more that life supports you. One of my mentors, Tony Robbins, says life supports what supports life. The more that you give, the more that you receive. It's a principle that I've lived my life by, brothers, and I guarantee you it is probably the only reason why I'm in the position that I'm in today. Not only is it incredible, not only does it help, but it feels freaking amazing to be able to help and to be able to give and to not question, but to just say, you know what? I've been blessed, so I'm going to help. I'm going to serve. Random acts of kindness, brothers. I challenge you to get out there, whether it's money, whether it's a dollar, whether it's two, whether it's time, whether it's just whatever it might be, brothers. I challenge you as men to lead by example and to lead from the front, to lead with service, with contribution, with love, with passion, and with integrity. I love you, brothers. Get out there, make a difference in this world, and live freaking bearded. Live bearded. It's the only way to be. Love you guys. Have a great Friday night. I'll talk to you soon.